Well, I'm still on my little golf tour of the Capricorn Coast in Queensland playing some Legends Tour Pro-Ams. And right now I'm at the Bagara Golf Club. Today I'm going to be focusing on sharpening up my pitching skills. For me, those distances between 50 and 100 yards. So we've got three simple keys to help you to control these pitch shots, to contact better, control that trajectory. And we've got a bonus tip that's really going to help you with your distance control whether you're using a lob wedge, sand wedge, gap wedge, or pitching wedge to pitch with. G'day golfers, I'm Glenn Haynes. Welcome to Aussie Golf Pros, where we help you be the best golfer you can be. So I've got a shot here of 75 yards, and with a little bit of rollout, that's a perfect three-quarter pitch shot with my sand wedge. I've got my trusty Cleveland RTX 6 56 degree sand wedge, and so for me, that's a three-quarter shot. So three-quarters basically meaning three-quarter backswing, but also a three-quarter follow-through. We'll get into that later. Tip number one is make sure you turn. When you're hitting these three-quarter or half shots, it's very easy to forget to turn. And if you don't turn, it's very easy to come across the golf ball, pull it to the left for a right-hander, or miss hit it because you're trying to reduce power by not rotating. You've really got to make sure your midsection is turning right through to the target. That's really going to help you to connect so your arms and your trunk are working through the shot together and you're going to be much more consistent that way. You don't want to be hitting this shot which is just all arms and I see that all the time because people are trying to reduce the power and the first thing to do is stop turning. So a little bit narrower stance, I'm a little closer to the golf ball because it's a less than full shot, but watch the belt buckle. Full turn through. We're reducing power by not really using the wrist as much as a full swing and not using as much arm swing. But you still want to be turning as much as you would for a full blooded shot or even a drive. So tip number one, turn. Make sure this midsection turns all the way through to the target. You'll get much better contact that way. Tip number two is to hit up on the golf ball. Now don't panic, we're not going to top it or anything like that, but what we've discovered by slowing down the motion of the top pitches is that the hand path is actually on the way up as these guys and girls hit their pitch shots, but the club is still coming down because of a little bit of wrist action. So the club is coming down into the golf ball, so we're still hitting the ball first and then the turf. It's not a big divot by any stretch, but the arms and the hands, they're coming up as we hit through the, the shot. So we'll slow this down and we'll track the hand path and the club head path. So I've still compressed it. I've still hit ball and then scuffed the turf. And the club is coming down ever so slightly, but the hand path is on the way up as we hit the golf ball. We don't want to be getting ahead of it here like this and trying to hit down into it too much. That gets too steep. You're not going to get as good contact. You're definitely not going to have the height, spin and control that you're after with these path to three quarter pitch shots. So hand path on the way up. Tip number three is a shallow shaft plane. Yes, we're back to shaft plane. It's so important. We talked about it last week with keeping the lead arm straight. It's also very important for your pitching, help you with your contact and your spin rate, controlling trajectory. We want that shaft to be shallow. Pointing at the golf ball in this down swing position, or maybe even just outside, we definitely don't want the shaft here. If you get the shaft vertical, this is what we call steep, then you get high hands, the toe of the club digs in, you're going to get a lot of chunk shots, a lot of miss hits. You really can't get that crisp contact that you're after if the shaft is here. So. Practice getting that shaft behind you in that transition. It, it doesn't mean pulling the club in behind you in the takeaway. You've got to shallow it in the downswing. So almost feel like there's a little bit of a loop going on there. And you're going to hit it much more sweetly if you can get the hang of that. The three quarter pitch. Crisp. Our bonus tip to help you control your distances with these pitch shots you have to get a little bit mathematical with these. So first up, we want to know how far a full shot goes with these pitch shots. I've got my lob wedge, my sand wedge, and my gap wedge here, and I know how far I carry them with a full swing. So mathematically, a three-quarter shot should actually add up 
to three quarters of the full shot. So I know that I can carry my lob wedge 60 yards as a three quarter pitch. And my sand wedge carries 70 yards, a little bit of roll out for that 75 yard shot. And my gap wedge carries 80 yards. And that is a huge confidence boost when I'm over these because I know that that three quarter shot is gonna carry that distance. And the whole idea here, this is my lob wedge, the whole idea is that the swing feels exactly the same regardless of which wedge you're using. So it's still a three quarter shot, still turning through, still getting up on it with the hands, but down on it with the club. Oop, wrong one. So now back to the 56, which is gonna be right on that green that we were going for. Oh, get in. That was nice. And my 50 degree gap wedge, also an RTX 6. So all the clubs feel the same. The weight's the same, the shaft's the same, and that three quarter pitch is the same. Now this is gonna go over the green because it's a 50 degree gap shot that's gonna carry that extra 10 yards. And that's how we can control the distances. It's gotta be mathematical, it's gotta add up, draw up a spreadsheet, so that you really do have some confidence in whether you're hitting a three quarter shot or a half shot or a 90% shot, you need to know how far you're gonna carry these shots. You can download your free pitching guide just like this straight to your phone. That's all of the notes and images from today's lesson. The link is in the description below. Watch this video next. It goes into that wedge gapping system in much more detail, learning to control the distances of your pitch shots. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to you coming next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?